Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python Web Driver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use page object model in your test automation. In some cases, you need to read web elements from an external XML file so that you can change the XML file whenever a user interface is changed. Now let's see an example. On this demo.mahara.org website, we have username field, we have password field, and login button. So for username, I enter student one or password enter testing one and click on login now logout link is displayed so this is a simple test case I clicked on logout to automate this test case we need to use few elements username text field password text field, login button, and logout link. So we have four elements. If the username text field changes, then maintaining the script will be a problem. So I defined one XML file for site elements. So this XML file is site element.xml file and the root is site model. So root is site model and under pages we have page. Page and name. Name of the page. And for each element we have element key and search by and value let's say login page we have login username we search by id and value is login underscore login underscore username and on the login page we have login password search by id login underscore login underscore password and page we have login page we have submit button search by id and value is login submit and we have page dashboard page element key is logout link and search by link text value is logout so in this test case we read the xml file for each element and use the element definition in the script so if any ui changes we just need to change the xml definition in the site element.xml file. So for doing this, I created two Python scripts. One is site element utility. So let me uh, make it bigger. So this site element utility use XML dot E tree dot element tree as ET. So we import the XML package for Python and tree equals ET dot parse site element dot XML. So this means we read the site element dot XML file by using this statement et dot parse and then root equals to tree dot get root so we get the root of the element so on this class I defined uh, two messages so class is web element and its object here 
I initialized the object. So now, first method is get search value. So that means we read the element from the XML file. And when we read it, we use the XPath string because XML file has very good XPath structure. So let's say we have a site element, that's a root. Under site element, we have page. Just under pages, we have page and attribute name. And under attribute name, page element. So we have element key. We get the key. So this is the express um, string. So once we get the key, we get the value field. So for element in root dot find all express string and value equals to element dot find value. So by this way, we can read the value entry. So this method is pretty simple. So get search value using this XPath definition. And once the XPath string is defined, we get the value and this will return value. Please remember that in the XML file, each element key should be unique. And if we have multiple elements with the same key, this method will fail. And second method is get search by, we use um, page name attribute and element key string. And this will return the search by entry. So second method, it will return this search by entry. In this example, we just utilize the get search value. Now let's look at the actual script. So I use unit test framework, so import unit test. And from site element utility, we import web element because this class, class name is web element. And we import web driver from selenium and from selenium.webdriver.common.case import case. So I create a class, name it demo Mahara testers. So in the setup method, self driver equals to webdriver.chrome. Use Chrome browser for test and self.element.webElement. element. So here I instantiate the web element class. So this is the first test, test login demo mahara.org and again it uses this class so we define a driver equals self dot driver and element equals self dot element now driver dot get http demo dot mahara.org we navigate to the site and we do assertion make sure the home Mahara driver title is displayed and define the username field so here let's find out how I used the other class so driver dot find element by ID so element dot get search value the pages login page and username the key is the login username. So here, the page is login page 
and key is login username. So this line element dot get search value will return login underscore login underscore username. So define the username field by using this line and username dot send case student one. Now define a password field password equals driver dot find element by ID and element dot get search value login page and login password. So on the password field I send the key testing one. Now logout link login button equals driver dot find element by ID so element dot get search value login page and submit button. Now click on log button. So now self dot assert true driver dot find element by link text and element dot get search value. This page is dashboard page and uh, the key is logout link. So we get the element and element um, text should be as this is a method. So now this teardown method self dot driver dot close and again this is the main entry to run the test. Now let's run this test using a command line. So this file I name it as page object model XML. So now Python page object model XML dot pi. Now I hit enter. So browser opened and navigate to the site, enter username and login and the test completed. So run one test in 13.449 seconds and test result is okay. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can read site elements uh, from an external XML file using the page object model. If you have any questions regarding this example, you can always visit the website www.seleniummaster.com For more questions, please send the email to services at seleniummaster.com Thanks for watching.